Hey everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner operator of Actually Diet Art by Science, and this is a continuation for the Unishrug Fleece to Shrug project. And I wanted to um, talk a little bit about the tools because we're now ready to actually knit this thing. <laughs> so there's a lot of preparation. And sometimes you, you kind of forget, especially if you're not already a spinner, all the work that goes into making yarn just so that you can use it. So the first thing you're going to need is the Unishrug pattern, which is available on my blog for free and also on Ravelry. So if you're a Ravelry user, you can go there and look for the Unishrug. Uh, put it in your favorites, you can download it, etc. And I'm going to point out here that we have some notions. So just in case um, this is the first time that you have come across this project, you at least know a little bit about what you're going to need for it. You're going to need US size 11 needles and bulky weight yarn, about 200 yards. So if you spun your yarn, you'll have it all ready to go. Um, and then any kind of silk ribbon. So if you have some just laying around, <laughs> I do, I have some laying around. Um, or if you know somebody who um, sells reclaimed silk, I have a friend um, from Designed Talented One. She has a bunch of Star Silk stuff. Um, you can check out her Etsy page, which I will link below. Um, she might, I think she has um, like tape ribbon that's silk, so you might be able to use that, or you know, maybe there's something else in her shop that's going to um, pique your interest. But whatever it is that you end up choosing, I think the silk really kind of sets this accessory apart from all others. Um, because most of the time you don't have these kind of finish embellishments, and this is actually a really easy one that you can incorporate with this project. So um, check out there, um, or you can just use anything else, or just plain yarn, or skip it entirely, it's up to you. So um, I have my yarn here, ready to go, it's all in ball form. If you want, you can also use um, some stitch markers. You're going to need at least one for the start of the round when you're knitting. And um, oh. <laughs> for some reason, I was, I was looking at my, my laptop for the camera. <laughs> so this is the start of round for me. And um, I have this other stitch marker here in a different color. Kind of see it's this bluish aqua green color. That's so that I know where the pattern is because it's um, a somewhat repetitive pattern, but um, really that's there so that I don't get into one of those like drones where I just knit one pattern the whole time. And I'm like, ugh, <laughs> and you have to take out so many stitches. So um, this is the Unishrug that I'm wearing. And you can kind of see here because we've got some pretty decent light today. This is the cabling pattern that we're going to cover in this video. And um, if this is the first time you've ever done cables, they're really not that hard, but there's going to be a little bit of moving stitches, like live stitches back and forth, which is very nerve wracking for a new knitter. Um, the first time that I learned how to do it, I was very nervous and I messed up a lot, but um, it's really easy once you get into it but those first couple, you're like, I don't even know what's going on. It's essentially braiding with your knitting. <laughs> so um, I'll readjust the camera and we'll get back into it. So we have done the knit two, purl two stitch rounds, and we've also done the cable setup rounds. And now we're going to do the flanking cables, the two by two cables. So the two by two means there are two stitches slipped and two stitches um, that you're going to either cross over or under. Sometimes you'll see a uh, three by one and that means there's going to be three slip stitches either held in the front or the back of the work and one stitch is going to be crossed over or under. So this is sort of a balanced cable, so the two numbers here are the same. Um, the middle cable that we're going to also work on is a four by four cable, which means there's going to be four slip stitches 
and four stitches that we're going to cross either over or under. Um, so these are the two flanking cables. So there's a central cable in the middle, which is the four by four, and then there are two sets of cables on either side, which are going to be the two by two flanking cables. So the other tool that you're probably going to need is a cable needle, or in my case, this is just a double pointed needle, size 10. Try to get a needle that's about the same size as what you're knitting with. Um, these are size level needles, size 10. It's close enough. Um, but I also like this one because it contrasts really well with this uh, bamboo. So this is rosewood and this is bamboo. Very pretty, very pretty color. I wish uh, I could get a wheel this color. It'd be really nice. Anyway, so the pattern says to slip the first two stitches purlwise onto a cable. So we've got the start of the round here. We've slipped our stitch marker. Make sure you don't knit that. <laughs> My very first time using stitch markers, and what did I do? I literally knitted it into the fabric. All right, so these first two stitches here, I'm going to slip purlwise. So there's one, and then there's two. And it says to hold to the back, which is the wrong side. And then you can see here that my bamboo needles are on top. And I'm going to knit the next two stitches as if they were the first ones in the row. So, got my yarn here, and knit one, <laughs> it's a little awkward knitting with a cable needle in the first place, but then try to do that on camera. <laughs> so we've got our two knitted stitches there, one, two, and now we are going to Pull this one out a little bit. We're going to knit from this back needle that has the two stitches on there as if those were going to be next on the needle. One, two. So put that down for now. So we have essentially crossed those stitches. And it doesn't really look much like a cable right now because we just made it, but as we knit some more, it's going to become more apparent. And then we're going to continue on by skipping the middle cable. We're not going to do anything with that except continue on in the established pattern. And then we're going to pick up our cable needle again, and we are going to slip the first two stitches. Purlwise. One, two, and again, we're going to hold this to the back. Like so. And then we're going to knit the next two stitches as if we never skipped those two. Oh, that was the problem is. <laughs> Need a little slack. Okay, knit one. Knit two. And then I'm going to just let this one hang here while I come over here to this needle in the back. Make sure that the yarn isn't all in the way. You don't want the, the stitches wrapped. And knit. Knit. And we're done with the cable needle. Set that down. 
and then we're going to pull purl <laughs> purl two more stitches and as i said earlier i put this needle or this um stitch marker here on the needle just so i know that this is where the end of the the cable like the pattern the cable stuff is at and then you just continue knitting in the established knit to purl to pattern making sure that you don't accidentally knit your stitch marker and what's great about this pattern is you can either add or subtract some of the um, knit purl ribbing pattern part of the pattern so if you wanted to um, use sort of a, a lighter yarn you could add more you would add two purls and two knits to continue on with the pattern um, if you're using a bulkier yarn than this then you would want to take out one or two of these sections and um, you can easily size that way for yarns which are similar to this bulky weight yarn if you're going to let's say knit this from or with a lighter weight yarn let's say you want to do a sport weight version you're going to have to do a little bit of adjusting probably to the cable pattern as well instead of doing a cable every four or eight stitches depending on if you're talking about the flanking the flanking cables or the central cable um, the way this pattern is written it's for a bulky yarn so we did the cable turn right here right there and we did our first one here you kind of see that So if you wanted to use a lighter weight yarn, you're going to have to alter these cables slightly so that they don't look all squished because these stitches are also really tall by comparison to um, a thinner yarn. So for this pattern, we're going to have four cable repeats of the flanking pattern, the flanking cable pattern. Um, but if you were to do just those few repeats, um, you would have probably a cowl that was about this big with a sport weight yarn. <laughs> and it could be cool, but it's not really a shrug, it, it would be something else. So what you're going to have to do is probably add more rows between when you do your cable switching here. But um, for this pattern, it's not going to make too much of a difference if you have a yarn that's very similar in diameter is this one so you could probably do worsted that would be fine you could do super bulky that would be fine um, but if it starts to change more one way or the other you're gonna have to do more to the pattern I'm going to post in my Ravelry group more information about doing that so that you can still maintain the spirit of this pattern um, but for this video we're just going to do the pattern as it is so that we can make a lovely little shrug like what I'm wearing right now. So if you like this video, um, please give me thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will continue on knitting with this and then we'll come back for the four by four rib. And I'm going to do a finishing video because um, the way that I have woven this into here it's a little bit specific so that it it looks a certain way you could certainly do it your own way and that would be fine too but i would i would like to show you how i did it so if you wanted to reproduce this you you could so um i'll be back very soon with the next video thanks for watching bye did you like watching this video click monty if you would like to subscribe or click socket if you want to see more videos Thanks for watching.